what happened during the 1905 revolution. Between February and July, and most of the summer of 1905, Russia was in flames. Strikes and violence spread. The Tsar's uncle, Grand Duke Sergei, was assassinated. And many different groups, such as Poles, Finns, Jews, Liberals, and so on, rose up to demand freedom and change. After the shameful defeat in the Russo-Japanese War, the sailors of the battleship Potemkin mutinied, and in the countryside, peasants seized lands and burned their landlords' houses. However, in September 1905, a peace treaty was signed with Japan to end the war. The soldiers were paid and promised better conditions. The Tsar now had his army free to come back to Russia to crush the rebellion. Crucially, the army still was loyal to the Tsar. In October, in St. Petersburg, a Soviet, a workers' council, was formed to take over the, from the Tsar's government. In response, the Tsar publishes his October Manifesto on the 30th of that month, in which he promised a parliament, called a Duma, freedom of speech for the people, an end to censorship on newspapers, and freedom to belong to political parties. This made many of the rebels, particularly the liberals, think again, end their protest, and side with the Tsar, splitting the opposition. And in December, the Tsar used troops who had come back from the war to crush the Soviets and the peasant uprisings. The Tsar had survived through the loyalty of his troops and through splitting the opposition in the October Manifesto.